it's John Eugenics Grandpa and today I am reviewing the Pro Kenex Kinetic Ovation Speed 2 and Pro Speed 2. Now why am I reviewing these two paddles together? Well it's quite simple. They are basically the same paddle but with a different shape. So I'm going to hold on to this Pro Kenex Kinetic Speed 2 paddle here and talk a little bit about this. The first thing that is really important is, and you can see it actually on the ovation here, it's got a little thing here, it's got a little marking that says it's better for your elbow. And if you listen, if you hear that little jiggling around, those are tungsten beads inside the core of this paddle. And what they do is they help reduce the vibration of the paddle when you're striking the ball. Now, why is that good? Well, if you play quite a bit of pickleball and you find out that you're getting pickleball paddle elbow or tennis elbow, if you want to call it, uh, this helps reduce that. So my brother-in-law got one of these and he said it dramatically reduced the amount of pain that he was feeling in his elbow. And Prokenex claims that it can reduce up to 43% of the vibrations. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is that this is pretty much an edge-to-edge -edge paddle. There's no thick edge here. So you're getting a lot more paddle space with the core. I think this is a 13 millimeter core, which gives it a lot of pop. Both of these paddles I found were very easy to swing. They I required little effort to get the kind of speed and pop of the ball that I'm looking for. And man, I love this color. This is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I am a low intermediate player. And so this paddle is not going to improve my game that much. I might get a little bit more control. I might find myself swinging a lot less. Uh, then uh, uh, not as hard as I needed to. So that will give me certainly, um, I won't wear myself out as fast in playing a game. Uh, but this is not going to help me until I, I build up some better fundamentals. This is really for a high intermediate or advanced player. We're talking about a 4, 4.5 player. Um, maybe a 3.5 could benefit from this. But you're really going to need to have some really good skills in order to take advantage of the technology that's in this paddle. I will make one exception. If you do find yourself experiencing a lot of tennis elbow, a lot of pain in that elbow, this could help you um, reduce that. I, I can't say that it will do that. I'm not an expert in that. I'm not a doctor. But I think I like again, I found that I was not getting as tired using these two paddles as I have with my other paddles. Fairly well balanced pickleball paddle, I think. So you're going to be striking that ball kind of like right where that curve is. They both have a similar sweet spot. I would say the sweet spot on this one is a little bit bigger. And the the, the surface texture, I think, is. It's pretty good. It's not as gritty as some of the other ones that I've used, but it did help me with some, again, control, but I still got to make the shots right. <laughs> so uh, in the long run, is this a pickleball paddle for me? Probably not. Unless someone's gifting me a paddle, then certainly I would play with this paddle, but I'm not going to go out and spend the $170 on this paddle. It's just not going to help my game until I build up my fundamentals. Great paddle, just not a great paddle for me. I'm John Eugenics Grandpa, and if you like pickleball paddle reviews, I don't do them very often, but I do them occasionally. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you know when my next one comes out. Thanks for watching. Bye.